Welcome to Tesel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. In this video, we will be covering how to debug our GIS web app builder widgets using Visual Studio Code. I am excited to walk you through this process. With that said, let's get started. Open a web app in Web App Builder's Developer's Edition. We can see a visit named Group Filter here. Let's open this and apply a filter based on the owner name. I'll go ahead and select the owner name and click on apply. We see that the features on map are displayed based on the selection in the filter. Now we will see how to debug this visit by keeping some breakpoints, inspecting the variables and see code flow in runtime using Visual Studio Code. So to do that, as the ID equal to 3, we will go and navigate into the folder. It will be under server, apps and 3. Let's bring it onto the Visual Studio. I will drag and drop. So to stop the code execution and hit a certain breakpoint, we need to set up some configuration in VS Code. Let's see how we can do that. We can either click on run and debug and create a launch.json file or click on run and add configuration. I will go ahead and select the web chrome. So this will create a launch.json file and here we need to update the URL with our app ID URL. I will go ahead and copy that and replace the existing one. That's it. We are good to go. Let's keep some breakpoints for method which gets hit on click of apply in the filter widget. As we are done with the breakpoints and stuff, let's see how to start the debugging process. So to do that, we can click on run and start debugging. So this will open up a brand new browser for us with the link which we have given in the launch.json file. So I will go ahead and click on group filter and filter by owner name. I will select an owner and click on apply. So this should hit the breakpoint. Let's see what has happened. As we can see, the breakpoints are in disabled mode. Let's enable them. Again, we can click on apply. As the breakpoint got hit and code flow stopped, let's see what Visual Studio Code provides developers in runtime. We have these windows which are super helpful in debugging, where variables window let us inspect local and global variables or update any values in runtime. Breakpoints window shows us the list of breakpoints we used in the code. And coming to the watch window, it will help us to search and watch a particular variable or object data. As you can see, it has the same value. And coming to the call stack, it shows us the code flow from which method the current method is called and vice versa. Also, apart from this, Visual Studio has provided some more functionality. Let's see each one of them. So to step to the next line, we just need to click on F10. So I will go ahead and do that. And to, if you want to step into any other function, we just need to click on F11. So this is step into, it will go inside the method. As you can see, when it got, the call stack got updated. You can see apply filter is calling apply layer filter. So let's click on step out of the method. This will bring the cursor out of the method. Also one thing to keep in mind is, when we make any changes in runtime, to make the changes affected, we need to save the file and restart the execution. So I will go ahead and do that. So if you want to pause the debugging process, you just need to click on pause. As you can see, the debugging has stopped. And to continue, we just need to click on F5. And to stop the execution, we need to click on stop. So this is how we would be debugging the web app builder widgets using Visual Studio Code by using the launch.json file. As we cover the required process, I think this is a great stopping point. Hope you have learned some new stuff watching this video. This has been Tesel Bytes, where we serve you GIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching and please be sure to visit us at www.tesselations.us. Also subscribe and ring that bell.